I will talk about sea level rise this morning. It's a real fun subject. Become extremely popular because there has been no increase in temperature, so everybody's concentrating on sea level rise. It's the uh, uh, alarmist uh, uh, choice. And, of course, sea level rise okay. uh, the future sea level rise, which is of some interest, varies from uh, a low estimate of uh, 5 inches, 15 centimeters, all the way to 20 feet, 600 centimeters. That's Jim Hansen and Al Gore. So, you know, you have a, a wide choice of uh, numbers available, and it's important to sort them out. If one is interested in getting a correct number, there's even a great amount of disagreement about past data, as you've just heard. Uh, I agree with uh, the previous speaker on many points, and the, the past data are, in fact, in dispute. And they seem to be controlled more by personalities than by facts, as I'll try to show. There's been tremendous variation in the interpretation or in the statement about past data. Now let's take a look at something that everyone agrees on for a change. Everyone agrees that there has been a large increase in sea level since the last ice age. In fact, the uh, amount is not really in dispute. It's about 120 meters in the last 18,000 years, or, uh, if you like, uh, 400 feet in the last 18,000 years, the depth of the last ice age. Uh, you, we, let's take a quick look at this. It's based on coral data that are not really disputed. Uh, let me see if I can find the... Yeah. Here's where it started eight, uh, about 18,000 years ago, and then it rose, sea level rose rapidly. Uh, and then as the continental ice sheets melted, it rose very rapidly, and finally it rose less rapidly until the present. As you know, corals grow and they keep up with sea level because they need sun in order to grow so that they grow up to almost the uh, top of the ocean. And as the ocean rises, they keep up to date. And there's very little dispute about this result, uh, but there's a lot of dispute about uh, the future. Let me show you uh, what the past IPCC reports show. I've been uh, what's called an a, a invited expert uh, reviewer on IPCC reports, and I've kept up with their estimates of sea level rise. Here they are. In 1990, you had this huge estimate from minimum to maximum, this is all to 2100, uh, of almost 400 centimeters. By 1995, uh, this has shrunk considerably, as you can see, and by, 19, by 2001, it shrank further, and by 2007, the draft showed what I would consider fairly reasonable limits on future sea level rise, but then there was a great amount of uh, pressure to increase the numbers because they seemed too conservative. So that after, between the draft and the final report, uh, there was a large change in sea level rise estimates. And finally, by the time of the last report in 2013, uh, the numbers doubled 
because there was great about concern that the numbers had become too conservative and needed to be upped. So uh, the group that uh, did the estimates was controlled by the strong personality of the lead author, whose name I will not mention, but you can look it up. Uh, he comes from Tasmania. That's a hint. In any case, uh, he, uh, uh, ma they managed to get the numbers doubled, and this black uh, curve shows the, the range from about 50 centimeters minimum to about 140 centimeters maximum. Still, that's well below the estimate of Jim Hansen and uh, Al Gore, which is way up here, and way above my own estimate, which is down here somewhere. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the last IPCC report and see what it actually looks like. I've tried to, I've tried to show you here the history of the IPCC results, and you see that they have become smaller and smaller, the estimates have become smaller and smaller. Then in the last stage in the AR5, the fifth report, they turned around and became larger. So let's look at that last report. Here it is. This is what was published. This is their summary. And you see uh, some very peculiar things which I've commented on in some detail in my comments to the IPCC, which of course they've taken no notice of. Uh, you see, first of all, you see a break here, oops, a break here in 1993, a sudden acceleration. What happened in 1993? Does anybody know? That's fairly recent, you should remember that. Introduction of a new method of observation from tide gauges to satellites. The satellites seem to show a doubling of the rate of rise. If you want to know whether this is true or not, you should talk to Willie Soon, who's done a very careful analysis of what's wrong with the satellite data. The tidal gauge data do not show this break. The break is purely a consequence of the introduction of the satellite data. Then you see another break here in 1880. Here it is, 1880. Sudden break, sudden acceleration. Does anyone remember back to 1880? Nobody here? I don't remember, and I'm probably one of the oldest. <laughs> I don't remember what happened in 1880. I wasn't around in 1880. The answer is that nothing happened in 1880. It's purely a matter of choice of data. The data disagree. These data seem to indicate that there was zero rise before 1880, and suddenly it started to rise in 1880. For some reason, that's not explained. Well, this is not true. This is not what the other data show. Let's take a quick look at, at uh, data from corals. They show a rise uh, that continues up to the present and in the last thousand years, which is up here somewhere, there's a considerable rate of rise based on different coral data. Not a zero rate of rise at all. So who knows which data is correct? Nobody knows. It's disputed. We'll find out someday. Anyway, the tidal gauge data do not, do not show this uh, peculiar effect. Here are the tidal gauge data, and here you see there's nothing happening in 1880. It just continues. Here's another view of tidal gauge data, and again, 1870, nothing happens in 1880. This is a more or less continuous increase in sea level. 
There is, however, a dispute as to what happened during the 20th century. Was there an acceleration or not? The last report of the IPCC claims there was an acceleration. The previous reports do not claim an acceleration. The best tidal gauge data we have show a deceleration. You have a wide choice. You have a deceleration, an acceleration, or no change, no acceleration. Let's take a quick look at this best tidal gauge data, and you see a deceleration taking place roughly in 1960. You see it here? The rate of rise suddenly decreases around 1960. Okay, what happened in 1960? Anyone you know? That was fairly recent. I'll give you a hint. Who was it that announced when he was running for president in 2008 that when he was elected, the earth would heal and the ocean rise would slow down? <laughs> Who was it? Obama. When was he born? He was born in 1961. When was he conceived? In 1960. There you have it. The angel announced his coming in 1960, and that's what happened. Thank you very much.